Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 11th of 2022, well, it is titled When Rainbows Smile. So what do we see here? Well, we see the palm tree in the foreground and up above it we see a rainbow. Now the rainbow may look inverted from what you're used to seeing and it is kind of arcing up toward the zenith which is the directly overhead point for the observer. So if you lay down and look straight up you are looking at your zenith. Now normally when we see rainbows after a rainstorm they arc downward so they will be pointing down toward the horizon. And what we see this is a little bit different a typical rainbow is caused by refraction of light bending of light through raindrops. So raindrops that remain in the atmosphere after a storm there's extra extra rain still there and they will uh, bend the light so the light will travel into the uh, rain droplets and it will be bent and when it's bent it is separated by colors so the large, shorter wavelengths are bent a little more longer babe wavelengths are bent a little less and it will spread the colors out into a rainbow much as a prism will spread spread white light out into the colors of a rainbow in this case, we are looking at ice crystals doing this much higher in the sky. And these are called a circumzenithal arc. Circum for being around zenith for the point straight overhead. So we are looking things that are arced around the zenith. And a rainbow will be a full circle. And normally we only see half of it, but it will actually be an entire circle. And you can sometimes see those from uh, a plane where you will see the rainbow, full rainbow around uh, the area if you're up high enough that you're able to see that. So a rainbow will be a full circle. Here again, we're seeing just a portion of that where it happens to be the brightest. And again, this is caused by ice crystals instead, which where the light is bent uh, through them and refracted and reflected off them. And that will uh, cause something like this. And it also causes things that we've seen before, like the sun dogs in the very high thin clouds with those flat ice crystals that can give us patterns such as we see today. So that was our picture of the day for March 11th of 2022. It was titled When Rainbows Smile. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Winging It. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.